Hi guys, good evening again. Chipmate Peña Flor here. So, marami ako na receive na message regarding sa ano daw yung four stages ni passage planning. Then, paki-explain daw kahit konti lang raw. So, ito yun. So, passage planning. So, first and foremost, ano ba tong passage planning na to? So, ito daw yung comprehensive birth-to-birth -birth guide developed and used by Bessel's Bridge Team. Siya yung, pin yung pinaka- may clear siya concise sa definition nito. So, sabi daw comprehensive. Comprehensive meaning, itong plano na daw to ay kompleto dapat, thorough, tsaka extensive. So, sinabi din dito, birth to birth guide. So, meaning from one port to another port, ito yung magiging guide ng mga dirt officers pag mag -e depart na sa departure port papunta sa arrival port. So, ito daw ay dinevelop ng mga dirt officer ng bridge team. And of course, ginagamit ito ng Bessel's bridge team. So, sino ba yung bridge team na to? Ito si Kapitan, si Chief Mate, si Second Mate, at si Third Mate. So, for your information, ang um, responsible sa passage planning ng barko ay si Kapitan. Si Second Mate, ang dinelegate ni Kapitan na gumawa ng passage plan. Okay? So, punta na tayo sa four stages. Four stages ng paggawa ng passage plan na sinatawag tayong ano, APEM. So, ating acronym. Tandaan nyo lang ito. A-P-E-M. So, first stage, second stage, third stage, fourth stage. So, huwag nyo yung tarambulin. So, first stage natin is appraisal. Second stage is planning. Third stage is execution. And fourth stage is monitoring. Hi guys. So, balit tayo dito. So, the first stage ni passage plan is appraisal. So, keyword nyo dito is gathering, meaning you need to gather all the necessary information needed for the passage plan. So, in this stage, the master of the ship discusses with the chief navigating officer, usually second meeting, sabi ko siya yung nagawa, as, as to how he intends to sail the destination point. But in some cases naman, it may be required for the master to plan the passage. So, sabi nga kanina, itong process na to, they will gather all information relevant to the proposed passage, including a certain risk and assessing its critical area. So, pag-gather ni second, segundo ng um, second mate ng mga information or mga data, so, andyan yung chart catalog, dati pa yun na pag sa chart. Andyan yung uh, ocean passages of the world, routing chart, level fee list of radio signals, list of light and sound signals, and etc. Taking into consideration that the master's guideline, company guideline, ship's cargo, and marine environment. So, kasama na rin dito yung pag uh, hingi ng advice sa ibang deck officers regarding sa ng personal experience, kung nakapunta na sila sa ganung puerto, ganung bansa, o dumban sila sa ganitong uh, dagat. So, puna tayo sa second stage. Second stage is planning or repairing. So, sa stage na to, syempre, paplano mo na yung ano, gagawin mo. Meron ka ng mga information, yan yung mga gagamitin mong gamit. So, you need to prepare na. So, having made a full appraisal using all the information at hand pertaining to the passage, the OW, of course, Uh, second mate under the toilet of the master need to prepare a detailed plan for the passage so si second mate in this stage the intended course of the ship are actually laid out on the chart kung paper chart dati yun kano ngayon exist na tayo so gagawa na si second mate ng mga waypoint sa exist Tapos sa plano na to kailangan ilagay ni second mate from pier to pier including the pilotage water. So, it's also a good practice to mark the dangerous areas such as nearby wrecks, shallow water, slips, small islands, emergency anchorages, and other, uh, other information that might be aid to safe navigation. So, kasama dyan sa planning yan, sa preparing, yung paglagay ni second mate ng mga no-go areas, dun sa ECDIS, yung mga parallel indexing, abort point, mga contingencies, clearing lines, bearings, ultimo UKC, eh, sasama na ni second mate doon. So, marami pa. So, punta tayo sa third stage. Sa third stage naman ni passage planning, ito yung execution. 
execution meaning carrying out or implementing the uh, plan na nagawa. So in this stage, the navigating officers they will execute the plan of course that has been prepared and after departure the speed should be adjusted based on the ETA and the expected weather and oceanographic condition. So after departure, yung speed ng barko, ina-adjust siya ni Kapitan based dun sa ETA and the expected weather and oceanographic conditions kung madadaanan. Then the speed should also be adjusted such that the ship is not either too early or late at its port of destination. So ito yung pinaka last stage naman natin, itong monitoring or checking and observing. So syempre, once the plan was prepared, once it was executed, so we need to monitor. So yung pag-monitor, ito yung sinecheck natin yung position, position ng barko that yung barko, barko natin remains within the safe distance from any danger area. So yung example dyan is yung parallel indexing that can be used to maintain safe distance alongside any hazard navigation. Kaya nga sa planning lang o preparing, nilalagay na dapat ni second mate yan. So sabi nga nila, a safe and successful voyage can only be achieved by close and continuous monitoring of the ship's progress along the pre-planned track. So may mga instances kasi na ano, na we need to deviate from our course. Let's say may bagyo, yung ginawa ni second mate na plano is okay na sana, tapos biglang may bagyo yung dadaan doon. So we need to deviate, kailangan natin itong baguhin. So kaya kailangan talaga continuous monitoring. So sabi nga nila, ito yung stage doon na, na napaka-importante wherein all the deck officers contribute their part to execute the plan. And this calls for personal judgment, good seamanship, and experience sa mga deck officers natin. So ito, may dinarawing ako dito kasi yung pagpasensyaan nyo na. So, brief explanation lang naman, visualization na lang. So let's say ito yung departure port mo, yung barko mo nakapitip sa berth, yan berth pupunta ka dun sa arrival port may so birth din so itong mga tao to mooring man lang yan so sa barco may tayo tinatawag na last line tsaka first line so kanyari ito yung barco mo tapos aalis ka na sa puerto pag bitaw ng barco mo yung last line na yan so anong oras yan yung last line na yan let's say tanggalin yung mooring man o i-declare ni kapitan na yung oras ng last line mo dun mag execute ang passage plan. Doon na yun magsisimula. So, example, last line mo, June 1, 2020, 1820 yung last line. So, meaning, mag-commence ang passage plan mo ng June 1, 2020 ng 1820. Kasi, pag nakabitaw ka na yan eh, hindi ka na nakadikit sa uh, birth. So, let's say, bubunta ka na sa next port. Ito. Let's say, umalis ka ng June 1 dito, nakatating ka ng next port ng June 13 ng 1430 so yung first line mo yung unang line mo ng barko yung lubid na dinikit mo sa, uh, sa puerto meaning pag uh, nadikay mo na yung, uh, yung lubid mo dito yung sabi nakadikit, ma, nakadikit na yung barko mo sa puerto eh yung tinatawag na first line so sa first line na yan dyan natatapos yung passage plan mo so yun sinare ko lang yun thank you